<laughs> and that's what an adult one looks like. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can smell the meat, can you? Yeah. Um, there's uh, fish. Um, oh. Yeah. Um, actually, there's a, there's a story, a funny story about uh, one of the, the wetters that had a tracking device on it from here. And they were tracking this wetter, trying to find where it was. And then uh, they kept on sort of following it up and down the coast of the, of the water and they realised, oh no, it's in the water. And they finally uh, found the eel that had swallowed it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they are definitely <laughs> meat eaters. Um, yes, yes. Uh, um, this, they, they are endangered though. They, um, there's a lot of habitat loss uh, and overfishing, and there aren't any real restrictions over over how they can be fished. Um, what what happens is when they when they mature here, they um, head back to off the coast of Tonga somewhere, and. Uh, and lay their eggs and then die. Okay, they do nothing else afterwards. So if you see them here, it means they have not uh, brought in the next generation. If you see them anywhere in New Zealand, they, they, they could not possibly uh, uh, be in the next generation. So if you kill them then, then you're stopping that next generation from them. So, so the, the Māori understood that to a certain degree and they kept the, kept the fishing numbers um, fairly low. Um, but, you know, these days it's, it's much bigger. The, uh, the female actually, uh, when they when they head off, uh, changes uh, body shape quite a lot. Gets quite a streamlined head, uh, big bulging eyes, and and the and the closer they get to the breeding ground, uh, the more the sexual organs actually uh, encroach on everything else, and and uh, other organs start to dissolve and get pushed pushed away. It didn't even 